please be seated. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the University of Manchester and the splendid surroundings of the Whitworth Hall for today's graduation ceremony. In particular, I welcome our graduates, whose magnificent achievements and hard work we are here to celebrate. But I'm also delighted to see so many friends, family and supporters here. I know many of you will have traveled long distances and you're more than welcome to join us uh, today for this important celebration. I particularly thank you for the support and encouragement that you've given to our graduates during their studies, which has been so important to their success. Just like the staff in the School of, the Social, uh, School of Social Sciences, you can be extremely proud of what they have achieved. Of course, it shouldn't really be me thanking you, it should be our graduates. So could I please ask our graduates to stand, turn and face your friends and family, and give them the round of applause that they deserve for your uh, success and support. Thank you, you may sit. Before we begin, I'd like to say a few words about the institution whose name is written on the certificate that you will be receiving. From its origins in the early 19th century, this has been a university ready to engage with the wider world. You'll struggle to find any ivory towers here. At the present time, Manchester is already regarded as one of the finest universities in Europe, but we are determined, determined to become one of the best in the world. With 173 nationalities on campus, the University of Manchester is a truly global institution and one that will remain so, valuing its European and international staff, students and alumni. Uh, you'll see outside some of the uh, investments that the university is making in the buildings and equipment to improve the experience of our students and to keep our research at the leading edge. But it isn't bricks, mortar, wires, technology or pieces of paper that make a university so great and so successful. It's our students, our staff, our people. During your time in Manchester, our graduates have made a help, uh, helped make the university what it is today. And this ceremony is as much about honoring you for that achievement it is, as it is about celebrating your academic success. A degree ceremony is far more than obtaining a piece of paper and some letters after your name. It is a rite of passage, moving from one stage of life to another. Some of you will remain in the world of education and research, but for many, the transformation will be to work. If you're still feeling the effects of the pressure of your deadlines from your academic studies, you can perhaps take some solace in the words of Aristotle, one of the first great teachers, who tells us that the roots of education are bitter, but its fruit is sweet. Obtaining a degree is a hugely important milestone, and we rightly congratulate you on this success. But this is just the beginning of a journey and your association with the university. As the class of 2018, you take with you not only the friendships that you formed during your years with us, but also the membership of a wider family of over 350,000 who come together as our alumni association. One last message before we proceed is to remind you that your degree not only confers upon you a recognition of the knowledge that you have obtained, but also uh, in this age where trust in many of our public and private institutions has been damaged, we need to rely uh, even more heavily on the integrity and informed skepticism that the trained mind can offer. Wherever you go in the world, you are responsible for instilling these values in those around you. So I sincerely hope that today will not be your last contact with the university, and please remember that our doors will always be open to you. Thank you. I would now like to invite Professor Chris Orme, the head of the School of Social Sciences, to say a few words. On behalf of my colleagues in the school, it's my honor to offer congratulations to all our graduates. This is the fourth and final degree ceremony for the School of Social Sciences here today. And in every previous ceremony, the microphone worked. The school offers a range of specialist degree programs in economics, politics, sociology, social anthropology and philosophy, and three interdisciplinary programs. The long-standing and successful Bachelor of Arts in Economic and Social Studies, the BA Econ degree, which is the largest degree program in the school. The relatively new Bachelor of Arts in Social Science, 
the BAS degree, which affords the opportunity to follow a broader range of social science subjects. And finally, the PPE programme focuses on pressing issues in social sciences through the complementary lenses of politics, philosophy and economics. At this ceremony, we are celebrating the success of our students on the BAS and PPE degrees, the development studies and politics pathways of the BA Econ degree, and postgraduate students from across the school. Social science is the study of society and the ways in which we relate to and interact with each other at every level, from individuals to households, from families to communities, from regions to national institutions, and governments to global networks. The challenges that we confront in social sciences range from the causes of unemployment, what drives economic growth, or even how, what makes people happy. So what does a social scientist look like? Well, we have some fine-looking specimens from across the school on my left here this afternoon. Urbane is not a description that comes to mind, but as my grandmother used to say, don't they scrub up well? The unfortunate and untrue caricature of a social scientist is that of a mildly disheveled individual wearing a slightly world-weary look of bewilderment when confronted with the reality that, yes, you can control your bank account from something called a mobile phone, or heaving silent indignation that Radio 4 had the audacity to give up Melvin Bragg's slot to something called the infinite monkey cage. Indeed, it is the so-called STEM subjects of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics that receive more attention, more funding, and more celebrity status than social sciences. STEM subjects are shiny, they are sparkling, and let's be honest, they generate great special effects for TV. But please, don't let yourself be seduced by the undoubtedly brilliant, the engaging, and the omnipresent Brian Cox. <laughs> For it is social science that undergirds our understanding of our past, present, and possible futures. We arguably live in a time of unprecedented social change. Populism, sovereignty, and control all lie at the heart of the UK's uncertain future relationship with Europe and the rest of the world. A relationship that must reconcile issues of migration, economic performance, austerity, and trust, both at home and globally. And whilst we deal with that, add intergenerational justice, the relative claims of the young and the old, gender and sexuality, race, ethnicity and inequality, regional instability, online data and confidentiality, and last but evidently not least, climate change, where understanding attitudes and behaviours is as challenging as the underlying physics. These are but some of the challenges for social science researchers, teachers, practitioners, and our students. Students that we aim to develop and support to become revered Manchester social science graduates who have both the opportunity and ambition to make a difference in the future world. To support this vision, our students benefit from teaching that is informed by our research, research that directly addresses this demanding landscape and thereby ensures that the social, sciences, social scientists graduating today will always have a rich canvas of opportunities and possible career paths. Such possibilities are reflected none more so than in our BAS degree, which was introduced alongside the QSTEP Centre, a strategic response to the shortage of quantitatively skilled social science graduates across the UK, with Manchester being one of 15 centres taking part in a £19.5 million programme designed to promote a step change in quantitative social science training. Along with politics, sociology and social anthropology, the Department of Social Statistics plays a central role in this extremely successful initiative, developing new directions of research in statistical literacy, survey methodology, and biosocial research, along with continuing world-leading research into statistical modeling, privacy, confidentiality, and inequalities. Another key strategic area of research for the school and university, which is making a difference in how we relate to one another and interact with one another, is ageing. By 2032, a quarter of the world's population will be living in cities, and they will be over 60 years of, old, 60 years of age. 
as more people choose to grow old in urban environments. Research at Manchester is investigating this challenge and providing policy solutions to urban ageing and social exclusion in three European cities, Brussels, Dublin and Manchester. Rigorous social sciences demands true interdisciplinary capacity, not simply osculatory connections between consenting disciplines. And this is the quintessential cornerstone of the Bass degree, an undergraduate program that only makes sense in a university with depth and strength in all the social science disciplines. And with over 3,500 students, both undergraduates and postgraduates, 250 academic teaching and research staff, and 60 professional support service staff, the Manchester School of Social Sciences is one of the largest in the UK, encompassing the core disciplines of economics, politics, sociology, social anthropology, social statistics, and philosophy. Because of our exceptionally talented staff who undertake research and exceptionally talented students who benefit from curricula that builds on that, that research, we are also one of the most successful schools of social sciences in the United Kingdom, internationally recognized for the breadth, depth, and international reach, rigor, and significance of both our research and teaching. And we continue to develop. The Manchester China Institute was launched in May, set up with the generous support of Hong Kong businessman, philanthropist, and honorary graduate of this university, Dr. Lee Kai Hung. The Institute will work to improve understanding between the United Kingdom and China by promoting research, community outreach activities, and public lectures in both Manchester and China. But all of our students also contribute to the school's pool of talent. Beyond their degrees, some gain further distinction through the award of name prizes from within the school, and or an award for outstanding academic achievement from the university based on their degree result. And I would like to mention those graduates now. From the PPE degree, overall best dissertation in politics went to Jack Hughes. The Norman Garris Prize and PPE Final Year Award to Matthew Perry. And the Simon Prize to David Moses. From the BA Econ, the Morris Wright Prize went to Christopher Cortine Allen. And from the Bass degree, the Sociology Social Responsibility Dissertation Prize to Alice Bloom. The Engaged Anthropology Dissertation Prize to Mackenzie Deersley the Sociology Q-Step Dissertation Prize to Yang Ling Gua, the Bass Final Year Prize and Gunter Kloss Prize to Rohini Kars, and the Edwards and Hoosen Prize to Ruby Schofield. Congratulations to you all. We also bring the excitement and challenge of social science research to the wider local community in Manchester through the annual Economic and Social Research Council Festival of Social Science, held jointly with our neighbours at Manchester Metropolitan and Salford Universities. Our staff and PhD students ran a variety of events from an interactive workshop for sixth formers exploring the effects of gender in politics, economics and culture, to film screenings showcasing the work of students on our Visual Anthropology MA programme. The festival covered a huge range of topics in social sciences, migration, community cohesion, dementia care, climate justice, and much more. Manchester Social Sciences teaching and research is progressive and international, embracing both diversity and collaboration, encouraging a challenging academic environment which interrogates the distribution of wealth, opportunity, and privilege. We are all proud of our achievements, and especially those of our students, both past and present. Indeed, you should all be extremely confident in your own abilities and skills, no matter what disciplinary background in social sciences you have. We hope you will take away very fond memories of your time here at Manchester, both socially, of course, but also academically. But finally, and especially as graduates in the social sciences, which touches on all aspects of society and humanity. Reflect on the richness and breadth of experiences you have had and that are now available to you. Grasp these opportunities with courage, conviction, and ambition. But don't grow up too quickly. Make a life for yourselves and not just simply a living. Congratulations to you all. And now, uh, Helen Beebe, the Samuel Alexander Professor of, so of Philosophy, <laughs> will invite graduates to be presented.
Vice President. On behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Simon Chin Yi. Adrian Byrne. William Christmas. Leah Colhane. Rachel Ems. Fadil Esoza. Laura Fenton. And also being awarded the President's Doctoral Scholar Award, Emma Patricia Fraser. Jamie Hansen. Andrew Curtin. Pete Lampard. James Lincoln. Andrea Lazama Leola. Ran Lu. And also being awarded the President's Doctoral Scholar Award, Maeve McPherson. Panagiotis Margaris. <laughs> Kayla Teresa McGuinness. <laughs> Jing Yi Meng. <laughs> Anna Yvonne Morales Gomez. And also being awarded the President's Doctoral Scholar Award, Angelo Moretti. <laughs> Thomas Redshaw. <laughs> Melissa Siley. <laughs> William Shankly. Ibrahim Tajuddin. <laughs> Rasim Turabali. <laughs> Evan Peter Vellis. <laughs> Anna Weinhus. <laughs> Kunia Wimuktanam. Peishu. Ning Shui. Otto Kawat. And for the degree of Master of Arts in Economics, Mason Tiffany. Yunnan Wen. Amir Mahmoud Khalil. <laughs> Di Guang Yang. <laughs> and in human rights, law and political science, Natasha Brooks. <laughs> and in human rights, political science, Charlotte Smith. And in international relations, Amna Khan. <laughs> and in political science, political theory, Samantha Jade Ward. <laughs> and in politics, Daniel John Shaw.
Camilla Fabia Walker. And in social anthropology, Tim David Ashwell. Yi Jong. Rebecca Louise Taylor. And in sociology, Alison Be Elizabeth Bentley. And for the degree of Master of Science in Financial Economics, Yao Go. And in Development Economics, Carolyn N. Dowler. And in Sociological Research, Sean Adam O'Connor. And for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Economic and Social Studies with honours, Mina Gupta. <laughs> Callum Thomas Higgins. <laughs> Patrick Kennedy. <laughs> Joanna Rance. Ravnit Singh. <laughs> Yijo. And for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Economic and Social Studies in Development Studies with honours, Yinyan Leonard Chi. <laughs> Charlie Garrett. Gabrielle Panayotu. <laughs> Joanna Salas. <laughs> Jijun Jong. <laughs> and in Development Studies and Economics with Honours, Sophia Elizabeth Engstrom. Anna Soraya Farakula. <laughs> Jabin Kazi. <laughs> William Riley. <laughs> and in Development Studies and Politics with Honours, Hagen Ui. And in politics with honours, Christopher Courtine Allen. <laughs> Michael Hocker. <laughs> Adam Kayani. <laughs> George Lean. Mikhail Mann Metz. <laughs> Sheena Mida. <laughs> and for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences with honours, Basarat Ajanaku. <laughs> Hassan Ali. Cecilia Maria Elizabeth Anderson. Joel Ansborough. Dara Asi. Andrea Abramescu. Aaron Bermange. <laughs> Alexander.
Alice Bloom. Annabel Rose Buckland. Charlotte Louise Burton. Abigail Calderwood White. <laughs> Stephanie Ann Sayre. <laughs> Winsei Chu. <laughs> Bryony Clark. Leon Mackenzie Coles. <laughs> Joanna Pereira Costa. Annika Caroline Crane. Robert Crane. Beth Crane. Mackenzie Ann Deersley. <laughs> Charlie Denby. <laughs> Tricia <Suisian> Donovan. <laughs> Andrew Doughty. Bryn Gooding. <laughs> Joseph Preston Granham. <laughs> Joshua Greep. <laughs> Emily Grice. <laughs> Yan Ling Guo. Kaylin Hamilton. <laughs> Esther Hamilton Ivory. <laughs> Kaya Hansen. <laughs> Florence Daisy Harry. Rachel Ann Hill. Sarah Hodgson. Meryl Iona Jola Hopper. Alice Howell Williams. Maya Honeyball. Regina Ivanova. <laughs> Annalisa Jenner. <laughs> Thomas Yolis. <laughs> Olivia Jones. Rohini Kaz. <laughs> Manpreet Kaur. <laughs> Joseph Kavanagh. <laughs> Molly Emma Keel. Kaylee Kites. <laughs> Benjamin Mackenzie Mason. <laughs> Lucy McCullough. <laughs> y 
Jasmina McIntyre. Zoe Meehan. Elizabeth Alexandra Mella. Robert Guy Mercer. Owen Connor Miles. Hannah Miller. Hello, Joe Moncrief. Mark Elliott Montegriffo. Joanna Morkoff. Sophie Louise Morris. Kiara Mulcahy. Rachel Nash. Maddie Nye Swift. Solomon James Afosu. Anna Louise Page. Esme Parkins. Kieran Payne. Julianne France Pontvin. Laura Pimlet. Alexandra Porter. Louisa Ray Redden. <laughs> Lewis Rich. <laughs> Emily Roberts. <laughs> Flora Emily Rotner. Benjamin Jimmy Deco Rosie. Virginia Saul. Jessica May Saunders. Beatrice Mary Smith Savory. Ruby Schofield. <laughs> Martha Joyce Shingler. <laughs> Megan Schoen. <laughs> Oscar Toby George Smith. Andrew Thomas Stevens. <laughs> Lucy Catherine Sutton. <laughs> Caris Thatcher. <laughs> Holly Thurgood. Abigail Stephanie Tomlinson. <laughs> Holly Twomey. <laughs> Lucy Vernon. <laughs> Victoria Wise.
Emily Constance Walker. <laughs> Emily Anderson Verenskjold. <laughs> Elliot Wilson. <laughs> Kalendra Witherarachi. Xu Jie Xu. Toby Zambadino. Joao Zhang. And in politics, philosophy, and economics with honors, Adenike Adabiyi. Thomas Michael Allenson. <laughs> Mamina Arshad. <laughs> Joshua Baker. <laughs> Richard John Bolton. Elena Sarah Bradshaw. <laughs> Michaela Bunakova. <laughs> Kieran Patrick Cadden. <laughs> Ko Yu Chen. Ioana Alexandra Chibataru. <laughs> Charlie Clifford. <laughs> Madeline Coffey. <laughs> James Cornforth. <laughs> Laura Dale. Ethan Davis. James Christopher Davis. Samuel Deakin. Yasmin El Alami. Let Marie Audrey Fakri. <laughs> Charlotte Geary. <laughs> Claudia Gibbard. <laughs> Ross Gibson. A.G. Gulati. <laughs> Oliver Heppel. <laughs> John Samuel Peter Houghton. <laughs> Jack Taylor Hughes. Fatima Khan. <laughs> Ali Madan Khan Kichi. <laughs> Johanna Kult. <laughs> Tom Yu Lam. Ho Chung Lam. <laughs> Xiong Yu Pamela Law.
Emma McLean. <laughs> Thomas Megson. <laughs> Alexander Molyneux. <laughs> Anna Louise Morton. Eloise Peck. <laughs> Theo Stuart Milner Fennifather. <laughs> Matthew Ray Perry. <laughs> Sophie Powell. Gabriella Ratton. <laughs> Josephine Regan. <laughs> Thomas Rudkin. <laughs> Zoheb Sadiq. Sam Sayer. <laughs> Emma Juliet Schicker. <laughs> Hannah Charlotte Schmidt. <laughs> Lewis Spencer Whitcomb. Stephanie Stradmore. <laughs> Hugh Summers. <laughs> Sharon Sunasi. <laughs> Abigail Jennifer Thomas. And Manuela Felipe Ventura. <laughs> Jonathan Virgo. <laughs> Isaac Young. <laughs> Lu Yao Zhong. James Waterfield. <laughs> and for the degree of Bachelor of Social Science in Social Anthropology with International Study, Pratchard Njoku. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you'll all remember today from the microphone not working and it being very hot in here. Oddly enough, gowns don't have any way to put that in your pocket, so I'll just, uh, I'll just hold it as we go through. Uh, I thank you all uh, for uh, uh, attending today and for showing such support for our, our graduates. For those of us who have the honour and privilege of working in higher education, graduation is, is one of the best days in the academic calendar. The joy and excitement of people walking up here uh, was, was something to behold. What perhaps many of you didn't see was that after they shook my hand, and I'm sure they were very pleased to see me, uh, an awful lot of our graduates looked over towards this side uh, to thank the uh, teachers and their tutors within the school. So please join me in thanking the teaching staff. If I can now ask you to all stand, please.
On behalf of the university, I wish our graduates uh, every uh, best wish and success for their future lives and careers. And I now declare this ceremony closed. Thank you.